Hello children, today in this video we are going to start with our new and last chapter which is chapter 21 data handling. Before starting this chapter, first of all few definitions. First is data. Data is a collection of information in the form of numerical figures. So if we are collecting any data in the form of numerical figure or any information we are collecting in the form of numerical figure, it is known as the data. Numerical figures means in the form of the numbers like 27, 28 like this. Next is frequency. The number of times each number or value occurs. If each value is occurring number of times, it is known as the frequency. Tally chart, it is a method of collecting and organizing the data. Whichever data you have got, if you will organize it and collect it, it is known as the tally marks. Next is pictograph. In this, it is a way of showing the numerical information in the form of pictures. Numerical information, if we are showing in the form of pictures, then it is known as the pictograph. Last is bar graph. So it is uh, the chart that uses the bars. In this we use the bars to just do the comparison between the categories of the data. Whatever data is given to us, if we have to compare, we will use the bar graph. Now we are going to start with the exercise, exercise 21.1. In this exercise, few questions you will do in your book only and few you will do in your notebook. Question 4 you will do in your book. Following is the pictograph of number of wristwatches manufactured by a factory in a particular week. And one picture represents 50 watches. One picture means how many watches? 50 watches. So days of week are given to you. Watches they have drawn. So you just do one, uh, how many watches are there for Monday? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 watches are there. 6 into 50. 6 into 50 is equals to 300. Similarly for Tuesday, 4 into 50. 200, 7 into 50, 350 and 4 into 50, 200. Friday, 5 into 50, 250. Saturday, 6 into 50, 300. Now few questions related to this only. On which day the maximum number of wristwatches were manufactured? If you will see on Wednesday, it is the day when the maximum number of watches were manufactured which is 350. So Wednesday you will write. On which day minimum number of wristwatches were manufactured? Minimum means lowest. So lowest will be on Tuesday and Thursday. Because on Tuesday and Thursday we, they have manufactured only 200 watches. Find the total number of watches manufactured by the company during the week. So if you will count all these watches from Monday to Saturday, you will get 32. So 32 into 50. 32 into 50 is equals to 1600. Last part, find the number of watches produced on Friday. On Friday it is 250 and Saturday it is 300. On which day more number of watches were produced? On Saturday. And by how much? If we have to calculate by how much means these two we have to subtract. 300 minus 250 which is equals to 50. Question number 8 also you will do on your book only. From this bar graph we will answer the next questions given to you on the next page. So from these we have to answer. Which school has a maximum number of students? So you have to go through it first of all. Maximum number of students are in St. Jude's only. So I will write St. Jude's school. The total number of students in St. Thomas and St. Jude's school. St. Thomas is how many? 200 and St. Jude's is 220. So total is 420. Total number of students in St. Joseph Academy, CJM and Summer Valley School. So St. Joseph is 210, CJM is 180 and Summer Valley School is 190. When you will add these three, you will get 580. Last part, how many more students are there in St. Thomas School as compared to Carmen School? So we will subtract these two. We will subtract the number of children in St. Thomas and in Karman school. So 200 minus 160 which is equals to 40. Nine question also you will do on your book only. The bar graph shows the number of tickets sold during the historical exhibition by six persons. Ram, Sham, Vivek, Tarun, Nikhil and Akash. So these are the number of tickets sold. 
Who sold the maximum tickets? Who sold the maximum tickets? Nikhil. Who sold the minimum tickets? From here, who sold the minimum tickets? It is 10, which is Tarun. How many tickets were sold by Ram, Sham and Vivek? Ram, Sham and Vivek. So add 20, 16 and 18. If you will add them, you will get 54. Tenth question, which again we have to do in your book. From this bar graph, we have to answer these questions. Who sold the maximum number of cars? So who sold the maximum number of cars over here? Hyundai. Who sold the least number of cars? Who sold the less number of cars? Just check it out. It is Tata, 120. Find the difference between the maximum sale and the minimum sale. Maximum is 250, minimum is 120. So difference will be equals to 130. How many cars were sold by Maruti, Hyundai and Honda? Maruti, Hyundai and Honda. So add them all. 200, 250, 220. You will get 670. Alright children, now next question, question number 1. This you have to do in your notebooks. First of all question, I will read from the book only. The players of class 6 cricket team of a school made the following runs in the one day match. These were the runs made by the student. Make a frequency table for the above score. For making a frequency table, first of all I have to check which which numbers are there. So start from lowest to the greatest. 0 is there. Like this, I will make one table. Marks, tally marks, frequency. Now you will check which which numbers are there. See here, 0 is there. So I will write 0. 3 is there. I will write 3. 11. Then afterwards 12. Then 15. And then 20. Now you can just count how many zeros are there. If I will see only one zero is there. So in the tally marks, only one stroke will be there and frequency I will write 1. Second is 3. How many 3's are there? Only one 3 is there. So one stroke, 1. How many 11 are there? 2. So in the frequency write 2. 12. Two 12's are there. So write to here 2 strokes and 2. 15. There are total 3 15. So 3 strokes will be there and we will write 3. Next is how many 20 are there? Two strokes and two I will write. Afterwards you will add all of them. Next question. A die was thrown 25 times and was the fall and following was the score. These are the scores. So in die the numbers are from 1 to 6. So it is simple. Simply we will draw one table. Numbers we will write from 1 to 6. From here you will check how many times 1 has occurred. 1 it will be 1. 2, 3, 4 and 5 times. So right here 5 strokes. 4 strokes and 1 slanting one. Frequency 5. Similarly you will count 2. 2 are 6 times. So 4 strokes, 1 slanting and then 1. 6. 3 how many times? 4 times. 4 how many times? 2 times. 5 how many times? 5 times. And 6 how many times? 3. When you will add them you will get 25. Now two questions are also there along with this. Which number occurred least number of times? Check from the table. Which is the least number of times? 4. How many times it occurred? 2 times. So 4 I will write. Which number occurred maximum number of times? Just check it out which number is there for maximum number of times? It is 2. So I will write here 2. Third question. The following are the number of electric bulb purchased by a shopkeeper during the first six months of a year. So January, February, March, April, May and June. And number of bulbs also they have given you. Which is 40, 60, 80, 30, 60 and again 50. Represent the given information by pictograph taking this one bulb as 10 bulbs. So you have to draw one bulb and it is equals to 10 bulbs. It means for January how many bulbs we have to draw? 4. February 6, March 8, April 3, May 6 and June 5. So here for January I have drawn how many bulbs? 4. February 6 bulbs, March 8, April 3, May 6 and June 5. Next question children, it is question number 5th. 
is again you have to do on your notebook so question number 5th is the following table shows the number of students taking part in different activities in a school activities are given to you debate cricket play basketball recitation athletics and football and number of students are also given to you you have to draw the bar graph for this for drawing the bar graph first of all see which is the lowest number over here 20 and highest is which one 120 so from here it is clear that we will along the y axis this is your y axis and this is your x axis along the y axis we will take a gap of 20 20 20 40 60 80 100 and 120 here debate is for 100 so draw one bar till 100 next cricket is for 20 so till 20 play 50 till 50 we will draw basketball 75 corresponding to 75 we will draw one bar recitation 30 30 next athletics 120 corresponding to 120 we will draw one bar and last one is football 45 so 45 we have drawn the bar question number 6 the following table shows the marks obtained by raghav in the board examination subjects are english mathematics accounts economics and commerce number are given to you in this also you have to check which is the lowest number over here 92 highest is 98 so what we are going to do we will take the numbers from 90 give the gap of 22 so 90 92 94 96 98 and 100 in english how many marks are there 92 corresponding to 92 draw bar mathematics 98 accounts 96 economics 94 and last is commerce 98 last question The following table shows the total number of members of a society in different years. In year 2010, 25 members were there. 2011, 30, 12, 35, 2013, 15, 2014, 40, 40, and 15, 45 members. So what we are going to do? Lowest over here is which one? 15 is the lowest, and highest is 45. So what we are going to do? We will take a gap of 10, 10, 10 to 60. We will draw 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So in the year 2010, it is 25. Till 25, we will draw one bar. 11, 30 is there. 2012, 35. 2013, 15. 2014, 40. And 2015, 45 are there. So like this, you have to draw all the bars in your notebook, children. and along with these chapters you have to do the tables also from 2 to 20 i think you are aware of this thing in the syllabus only i have told you okay children thank you